Welcome to part 8 of my Tavo Black Widow mods videos. In this video I finally have some good news and that is I finally received the Flex 3 Drive Extruder and right now I'm doing an unboxing of it before I get start to work on it. So here's a thank you paper that it comes with and here is basically everything that ships with the extruder. I will get this in the frame in a sec. But you, you will see the carriage and the related parts in this bag. Some mounting screws, etc. Here is the mounting system for the NEMA 17 motor that we are going to have to use with this extruder. And here is the extruder itself. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It comes with everything that we need and it also has the the hot hand cooler and the layer fan included as well though those fans probably will be really noisy considering that they're only 25 millimeters and this is the part that will attach to the motor itself moving on to the other box it will contain the print pipe plus 3d printing surface that i ordered so it's packed really well and it took me a while to uh, unpack it but here it is I ordered the black version without any grid on it so it has this shiny surface on it and this side has the sticky backing on it right now I'll begin the assembly of the flex redrive extruder but before I let on the music run I just wanted to say that the, there are no assembly instructions included and there are no assembly instructions online anywhere I'm sure if I contacted them and asked for help they would try to help me but you know they still should have included some sort of instructions and there's nothing included so if you're interested in this keep that in mind but other than that and other than the fact that you have to disassemble the entire thing to add the hot end to it it is pretty straightforward and if you're experienced with the assembling things like this you shouldn't have too much trouble is curious this is how the 40 to 1 curing system works inside the extruder itself so here is the extruder I finally installed it on my 3d printer here is this ugly mess but I had to have something like that there because the wires on the fans were too short and because of the BL touch I couldn't mount the extruder in a different way so I had to mount it this way but as you can see I've managed all the cables and 
run up to all of them behind the extruder itself so I tried my best about hiding it and they run up through this sleeve into this box but again here is another mess I have that bulge on top with the extension wires and I couldn't do much with it yet but I might fix that so don't worry about that too much and I have also mounted the motor here and as you can see it has the shaft coming here and here is the motor itself I just used another one of the same stepper motors that my Black Widow uses it's the exact same motor so here is how the Black Widow works after how the Black Widow looks after about 13-14 hours of work and yes it really took that long to do this I've had several problems during the assembly process and I'm not even sure if I did it correctly because I haven't tested this yet which brings me to the another problem that I'm having right now which is I'm having trouble flashing a new firmware on the MKS board I will get to the details of that in a bit but before I get to that I just wanted to show you how annoying the fan included with the extruder is for reference this is how a normal speaking volume sounds like so this is really loud like a jet engine and to make matters worse this is only the fan for the hot end running Imagine how loud it's going to be after all three of the fans are running. It will probably be unbearable, but the problem with this is unfortunately this uses 25mm fans which are pretty much impossible to find and I did search online for this for a few hours and only ones that I could find were these fans and even shittier looking fans so I couldn't find anything else so it looks like I'm going to have to live with these, but you know, I wish Noctua made 25mm fans or better if this extruder used something more common like 40mm fans and now let's talk about the firmware issue that I mentioned a few seconds ago the problems that I'm having is I tried on two separate computers I tried different USB cables, different extensions and obviously since I tried two separate computers I obviously tried two separate installations of Windows which means like everything sh should be fine at least in one of them but for some reason in every case I'm getting an uh, error while flashing the firmware which says AVR dude whatever that is says it says timeout and it basically can't flash the firmware and I have to do that because the E3D V6 hotend uses a different thermistor than the one used by the hotend included with the Black Widow so I have to flash the firmware to be able to use the E3D V6 I spent a few hours on this as well and I couldn't get it working but I promise unless I have some sort of a hardware failure like the, if the MKS board is broken for some reason or I don't know something similar like that I promise I will finish the work on this extruder by the next video and you will see this in action so before I end this video I just wanted to show you how the print Fight plus looks when installed onto the Tavo Black Widow 3D printer so here it is before I installed it I show you this a few minutes ago right now I'm just going to go on and install this and then show it to you how it looks and after that I'm going to move on to actually curing the adhesive on the back of the print bite so here it is how it looks on it while it's installed I did a pretty decent job of installing it but as I just showed you it's not a perfect job so no it's it's what it is it's not too noticeable so I'm just going to live with it so right now I'm moving on to actually curing the adhesive 
but unfortunately I'm having some connection problems with Raspberry Pi as you might have just seen a few seconds of it so anyway I'm just going to do that off camera it's not too interesting anyways and this is the end of the video so I hope you found this video enjoyable and if you did please leave me a like below and as I said unless I have like a big issue with the hardware or something like that I promised I'm going to finish the Flex 3 drive installation and test it by the next video thanks for watching